Day 22. So obviously this morning was a little bit of a struggle following having a bit of a difficult day yesterday and I tend to find that actually by the time I'm out of that mindset I don't really remember doing things or being in those moments and it's a little bit like trying to remember a dream that you had the night before when you try and think about it the next day. You get that same detachment and disassociation that comes when things don't quite fit to reality and you're not quite sure what's happened. But by lunchtime I was back to about a level zero and the day has been pretty good since then so things are better. I promised a couple of days ago that I would talk about my mental crusher in yesterday's video but of course because yesterday was a bit different to how I expected it to be the video changed slightly. So we all develop our own ways of understanding the world around us which is built up through different experiences and we form a belief system based on the experiences that we have throughout our lives so that when you come across new information you go okay well that's this because it fits in with my belief system. So very clearly in my belief system this is a cushion. I know this is a cushion, I don't remember when I learned that this was a cushion but I'm absolutely certain that this is a cushion. And let's say I meet somebody who comes into this room and says, Kian, what are you talking about? It's not a cushion, it's a feather pack. And that doesn't fit with my belief that this is a cushion. And because it doesn't fit with that belief, that doesn't go into my brain to say that this is now a feather pack, it just gets rejected. Or it gets altered to say, this is a cushion, but Michael thinks it's called a feather pack. And that's how we process information. So it comes in from the outside world, has to go through our crusher to make sure it fits our belief system and then goes into the belief system. Any, any information that I hear or see or taste or smell or feel goes through my crusher and if it's not a part of my belief system, it gets rejected. And if it fits with what I believe, then that information comes in. And let's say on a very basic level, if my crusher was rectangular, any rectangular information that comes in and fits the crusher goes through and then stays in my head. Anything that is wildly different to a rectangle, let's say I get an octagon that comes and tries to enter, it will just be rejected and discarded. Whereas if something comes in that's maybe a pentagon, that's a bit closer, the crusher might do its thing, turn it into a rectangle and then it can stay in my head. And what that means then when I'm in negative mental states is much like the cushion, I don't remember learning it's a cushion, I don't remember when or how I learned my belief system about myself. And those beliefs are generally that I'm worthless and weak and a disappointment to the world. And anything that comes in from the outside that matches that belief goes straight through, whereas anything that contradicts that belief is just entirely discarded. So things like failure and rejection come in and they stay in my head, while things like success and positivity just get battered away. And anything kind of mediocre that would just be, yeah, it's not good, it's not bad, gets crushed into another negative that then just piles up in here as everything that is negative. And when I'm in those dark situations, any compliments or positive feedback or me doing stuff well just doesn't enter. It just I just forget about it and I move on and it doesn't come in. Whereas anything that matches and adds up to this profile of things are really bad, I'm useless, I don't have a place in the world, nothing cares about me and I don't care about anything, anything that fits that shape comes straight through and obviously then makes that feeling stronger. And I can't immediately change that because it's been built up over years and years and it's how my brain has developed. And if I were to move to an entirely different culture, for instance, at first nothing would match my own belief system and over time, maybe years and years, my belief system might start to change to match the culture around me. And if I can really try to allow some of those positives through, that belief system that I have might slowly start to change into a more positive belief system and that crusher will let through more positive things as well as the negative things. And understanding that whole process has been slightly helpful for me because when I am letting things pile up, I can understand why. When people are desperately trying to cheer me up or make me feel loved or cared about, it just doesn't go in. I can now understand why, rather than just feeling like I'm a horrible person. And I hope that offers a little bit of insight for anybody who has tried to help somebody in a similar situation or say something positive and can't understand why they're not listening to the positive feedback. It just doesn't go in, it gets crushed. So that's a very basic introduction to what I mean when I talk about the mental crusher. You can find out more about it just by looking it up. Um, 
But as I say, I'm now back into kind of positive numbers on a minus 10 to plus 10 scale. And now nearly a quarter of the way through this 100 day video blog. So share, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.